always been a headache to the residents and traders here. Let me talk to a few of the drivers here who have been complaining bitterly. And for them, this situation, they think, uh, shouldn't be a big problem for government to solve. First of all, let me talk to this man that gives his name as Gaddafi. Gaddafi, how, how is it going? Well, not bad. So you, you are a driver here. Tell me, first of all, when it rains, okay, yeah. I, describe the situation. D describe how it looks like when it rains. For instance, let's take yesterday, for instance. Uh, that's why I used to say, you need to see it yourself. I don't need to tell you. When it gets rains, in fact, with Frank, no car crossing. If it's not a big truck, no small cars. Small cars can't cross. If a human being can't cross, it's very dangerous to our living here when it gets to rainy season. We feel very bad, very, very bad here because the gutters are choked. The gutters are choked. It doesn't go, especially when you look at the back here. You can see it yourself. It's being flooded, full up. With dumps and a lot of things inside. No, no, but what do you think is causing this uh, problem? Yeah, the, the, the cause of it is the choking of the this in the gutter. It needs to be clear. The gutter is choked. So when it's choked like that, that's why I say you can see from here. So any small rail like this, it gets flooded. All these rail get flooded. Small cars like this cannot cross. But, but, but this affects the highway, the Kumasi Accra Highway. Yeah, this is Accra Kumasi Highway. Yeah. Of Ankara Barry Accra. This is where it leads to Kumasi Accra and uh, everywhere. You see. So I, I, I'm expecting the, 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 the top men to do something about this before we, we put our hands, our hands in our hands and be crying. You see? For, for how long has this problem persisted? Oh, back years, since this filling station was fixed there. Since this filling station was fixed there. Mm. That's where the problem started. Until the filling station was built, this issue wasn't a problem here? It wasn't a problem. wasn't a problem. wasn't a problem. Because when you look at the back here, where the, 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 the water is supposed to pass, it has been blocked. So the space there is not enough for the water. The space there is not enough for the water. So the problem is one of the, uh, the problems is the filling station. The filling station. Yeah. So you think yeah. It, it needs to be pulled down? But yes. Have you uh, made a complaint to uh, the uh, assembly? Well, a lot of people have assembly. You know, uh, this guy, what they call it? Gar Gar West. They've been here. We've been talking to them, telling them about the problem. They will say, okay, they'll find solution. They'll bring uh, people to come and check. But when they go, no one comes back and do this thing. So this thing has been here for donkeys of years, and no one is caring. So the, the issue is the gutter that is choked now. Uh, we, we need surveyors to come and tell us what exactly is the cause. But what we know for now is the gutters are choked heavily, and that the slightest rain leads to heavy flood. Let me talk to this other young man. Boss, what's your name? Niamatego. Niamatego. Mino chum. Drama yo jimi. Drama yo jibu. Ni keni mo ne ake bi ene fe yo ake traffic eba. Eji anu kwa bi ele yo agbuwa ake o gota jia me chichi no abi e yo kaji wanyo o jie gota jia me kwe kwe bi e fe na kai. Je mo na jini e je chichi o nupai ba huwe bi e da na me na ni e kamengbe mosi si bi ene bi e jie construction ni ko run agbe ne district ya bi ene ofango e district ya bi ene district ya mo ya ba ona na e fe o awa wa jie mo ne ka jie mo no wo keni mo ne ya kuse choke no. Okay, so uh, these are few uh, traders and residents talking to us here about the flooding situation here. The main problem is the choked gutters that uh, prevents the water from flowing freely and yesterday if you go here according to the residents the traffic situation here was that bad it took people about three hours to drive between Achimota to uh, Amasaman that is how bad the situation is and we also told that homes here I mean gets heavily affected anytime in trains and the situation they want the assembly to see to this problem because the problem here has been since 2013 after the June Three disaster occurred. I remember one of the few places we visited was this place, and they promised to have these gutters expanded. But till date, the situation is still the same. We are looking forward to see that the assembly will attend to the plight of these people here. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibi TV3, over to you in the studio.